Okay, here we are, Patrick the Programmer. This is session 10 of the Humankind Newbron. I started this uh, a week ago when Humankind was released. I've been playing a couple hours a day, so I haven't been able to jump into it uh, and spend the, you know, six, eight hours over the week, a day over the weekend on, on the thing and figure out everything that's going on. I've spent a little bit of time watching uh, YouTube videos, but uh, this is my first run. I'm going through, I'm making all the mistakes that you could possibly make. And more probably so uh, let's just jump right in uh, as you can see this is the 10th session I've made in seven days uh, I'm on turn 86 I'm playing the Khmer started out as the Zhao uh, switched over to the Celts to get the agricultural bonuses and now I'm uh, the Khmer to get the industrial bonuses um, let me let me get started here so I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna do which is uh, pop through each uh, turn, uh, see what the U UI presents to me, make some decisions and move on. And then if I make good decisions, that's good. If I make bad decisions, that bad, that's bad. And I'll learn about it later. And then the next time I play, I will become smarter. So the Aztec, so I'm just going through on my uh, uh, notifications, Sovereign, clicking on the Aztecs. How can I help you? They are friendly, so that's good. Um, I'm not a big fan of spending a lot of time on the wars and the battles and the fighting just because it takes resources away from other stuff, but uh, we'll see. I might end up having a war with uh, the Maya pretty soon. So she's in the medieval era. She has zero stars. I'm also in the medieval era. I've been in there for like 15 turns. I've got one star, which is kind of embarrassing. So I guess they're friendly now. I don't remember what they were before, so it might be nice if the UI told me what the old attitude was but I'm not going to worry about it too much and that's all or is it I'm not sure what that is Anchor Watt is completed oh, yeah that is super cool so let me focus in on Anchor Watt let me get rid of the UI it's just beautiful uh, huge amount of stability, a lot of uh, grain, and uh, a lot of faith. Uh, not much industry, but I don't really need that. Here's the other Khmer unique building. This, uh, what is it called? Uh, well, I turned off the interface. This is called a... It's not telling me what it's called. That's kind of weird. There it is. It's called a beret. Uh, it works as a maker's quarter and a farmer's quarter. Uh, does a lot of good things. So I built one in each one of my cities, I believe. Um, Anchor Watt is a wonder of the world. So I think... How do I get to the wonders of the world thing? I think I go to my cities, show unclaimed wonders. Here's Anchor Watt. So I claimed, I claimed it and built it. I claimed the Anchor Watt and built it. Uh, these other... Every, it looks like most other things are uh, locked, so somebody has claimed them but has not built them yet. Or no, they're locked because I don't have enough influence to buy them. Or maybe I can only buy one of them, I don't know. It's uh, The pop-ups are helpful, but not super helpful. I got the Lighthouse of Alexandria. I can show you that. I guess I have to find it manually. So let me go ahead and show you the Lighthouse of Alexandria. It's down here. Uh, pretty cool. It looks like the uh, typical lighthouse. It's, I think the, uh, supposedly, according to the historians, it was square and then had octagonal and then a round thing at the top. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that was actually true or not. This gives me 22 stability. Get rid of this. Yeah, 22 stability and a little bit of food. So not a super duper helpful. I mean, I'm not, I'm not turning it down. Okay, so uh, let's keep moving. I don't know why this notification thing keeps... Oh, here's two more. Okay, the Maya demanded that I convert to uh, Harappan shamanism. Now, they've demanded that uh, five or six turns a in a row. So far, I've always turned them down. And by the way, this user interface, it took me a couple turns to figure out how to find it. So there's a there's demand. You have to click on this and then you have to accept or refuse. Just an offhand comment. It would be nice if that opened up to accept or refuse. 
Uh, so this gains them 10 war support. So that doesn't cost me anything because they're already at 100. So I'm just refusing it. Why would I accept this? I no longer need to inflict this on you. Okay, and so he's... Uh... Ooh, so I lost one population? Well, how did that happen? You have our gratitude. Well, let me take a look at that later. Okay, so they withdraw their demand. So that's happened five or six turns in a row. Do, 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 do. Population loss. So I'm going to go back to West Dirt. There I am. And see what's going on. I've got nine. Did I build a unit or something? I just built a theater. Okay, so I think I'm right at the edge here where I've got two food. As soon as I get another uh, pop, which will take place in two turns, then it will, that pop, I think, I think they eat six or eight. So this food will go negative. I'm at my limit on the number of people I can assign to do uh, uh, food stuff. Uh, so I can't increase it that way. I'm going to have to build a uh, build a district there at some point, probably right away. Uh, I spent some time uh, in West Dirt helping to build Angkor Wat, which just got completed, and it looks like I've got a theater. So where can I see what I've built in a city? Go oh, here's completed. Yeah, okay, cool. Theater. So that gives me influence. Uh, I used to not play pay a lot of attention to influence in the early part of the game, but hey, here's Captain Hardship again. He's uh, coming in hard. Um, I'm assuming that's some sort of... Uh, the Mayans keep asking me to convert. Is some, It's triggered by something... Uh, probably they've got more people or almost as many people or they're close by or whatever the trigger is. Uh, there's no check in the current code to say, hey, did we just ask last turn? Uh, so I'm guessing uh, there'll be a bug fix at some point in the next couple weeks or months where they actually go in and make that check. Uh, I, did, I haven't reported that to the developers, uh, mainly because I'm too lazy to do that. But uh, it doesn't surprise me that when, when it happened the third time in a row, I figured, OK, this this is a code thing. And, and it's not hurting the game and even if it was hurting the game that's part of the reason i'm playing it is to see what the hell's going on um okay so okay so here's how i can see what i've completed i've completed animal barns granary fisheries potteries uh give me money and a theater which gives me influence uh like i was saying the influence i didn't spend a lot of time on it originally but it turns out you can buy lots of really super good stuff with it, uh, including Wonders of the World and, and other stuff. And uh, originally, or you needed uh, influence to be able to build outposts, which you need to claim territory with. So it probably should have focused on influence a little bit earlier. I can, I can, I think that might be one of the first part of the uh, snowball things. So I'm been kind of focusing on population after the first era. With the theory being that that if I get a big enough population, then everything else will snowball down the road. But uh, I guess we'll see if that's true or not. So, built infrastructure. So, this completed thing doesn't show districts, or do I not have any? Well, yeah, I do have a district. I've got this beret. Uh, whatever. Okay, so uh, I mean, I mean, here I, I think if I build another district, I will get a farm, an extra farmer slot. So this will go from three to four. I can then put another person in here. He'll the per, the person the farmer will add six or ten per farmer. That's nice. Uh, oh yeah, wait, plus two per farmer for druidic lore. Six is the base value. Okay, and then uh, do I still have this thing going? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have the land razor going because I've, I'm getting uh, money in science. I need I need some science. I don't really need a lot of money. Let me go ahead and make that adjustment here. Wait. What's going on? Didn't this used to be? Didn't there used to be two? Three, four, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I've only got nine pops. So I don't know why there were two guys in there originally. Oh, 
Okay, so it showed me with 10 pops originally. That's probably another bug because I used to have 10 population and I just this turn lost one population. So it still showed, that's another, I think that's another bug. It's, it still showed 10 guys up here. I just happen to want to move one over to here. So I'm, I'm not getting as much money, but I'm getting more science. Uh, Captain Hardship was here when I was beaten out for Imperial imperialism by one turn on science which uh was kind of super annoying so i think i'm going to put a little bit more money in a put more money in science i don't have anything in the construction queue for west dirt um my stability is good so i could build another district if i wanted i keep telling myself i'm going to start building units because i think the mayans are going to attack me so this guy's 25 with a move, movement of 6. This guy is 23 with a movement of 6. Upkeep of 3. Upkeep of 5. You think upkeep on negative on naked people would be smaller than upkeep on guys with horses, but whatever. I'll go ahead and build one of these guys. You know what? I think I'll build a quarter... So they recommend plus 11. So I put it right here. They recommend that I put the uh, farmer's quarters. Yeah, right next to the beret, which is also a farmer's quarters. I'll just go ahead and do that. And then I'll go ahead and force myself to build a unit. There we go. So West Dirt is taken care of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the naked people cost more money. I guess they burn the dollar bills to keep warm or use it to buy hookers or grain. Anyway, uh, good for them. So uh, let me see. I've, I've looked at all my notifications. Uh, no one has declared war at me, no war with me. Uh, let's see. I have two idle cities. Okay, so I had everybody building Anchor Wat, and uh, now they're no longer building Anchor Wat. So this guy just finished. Uh, my stability is at 100. So I do have this uh, dancing thing, the, the theater thing, which gives me more influence. I think I'll just go do, do some of that. And then, ooh, I'm losing. Okay, so I'm losing pop. So I, I can send one more guy on pop. Let me move a guy over here. So now I'm gaining population. It's going to take me f five turns. It's going to take me. F I'm going to win. Every I'm going to increase the population every five turns. It looks like it's going to take me four turns till I hit that thing there. So I'm good on food. My industry is good. My money is okay. My science. I'm going to put some more guys in science. Put one more guy in science. And I'll put one more guy in industry. Uh, so money, I'm not doing too good on, but uh, too well on. But whatever. Oh, here we go. Then I'm going to build a beret. I don't have one here. Is that right? I think, you, yeah, and you can only build one, sorry, I clicked on West Dirty, and you can only build one per territory. So I will build this, and it says, it recommends that I build it way down here. Oh, oh, right next to this beret. That's kind of weird. What's going on here? Um, so I'm confused. I th is this break attached to this this city? Uh, this uh, let me look at my. Let me zoom out and look at my. Okay, here's the territory er edge right here. So if I build, if Patrickville builds a beret, they're building it outside of their territory, but they're not duplicating the, the one that's in the this territory and terrain so that kind of makes sense this happens to be the best tile 
to build a beret on, apparently. Uh, and it's... You can see it's outside of the other... I've got three berets. One way over here. One way over here. And then one right here. So I could build a beret in this territory. And then build another one in this territory. And then build another one in my main territory. My capital territory. So I'm going to go ahead and build one. They want me to build it here. Oh, and I'm going to gain... Uh, I'm going to gain... Go from one industry to 42, from zero influence to two influence, and from one grain to seven grain. That sounds like a good deal to me. I'm assuming it's not going to hurt my uh, stability. So now i got to go to West... Let's see, I did West Dirt. So now Captain Hardship uh, f helped build the granary. I thought he was building the uh, Anchor Watt. You know, I wonder if... Well, whatever. Um, okay, so... He's got... Pottery... Excuse me. Pottery, granary, and animal barns. It sounds like a very smelly town. No offense, Captain Hardship. So I'm doing okay in food. Uh, but I would like to get this uh, limit on the number of people up a little bit. Let's see what else I've got. I could build a commons quarter to get more influence. Or I could build another unit. What's his population? 7 out of 10. I'll wait till he gets closer to the max and then go build some more units. I don't really know what those public ceremonies are. With uh, 240 to, to get some influence. What is this thing here? This is stability. My stability is good. I'm not going to build that. Science. So this is science per researcher, and this is per this is per researcher, and this is per population. This is one of my smaller towns. Well, I've only got three towns. Uh, let's see: industry, 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 defense, money, uh, stability, science, and influence so uh let's see what else could i build here you know i haven't built a common built a common commons quarter what the hell does it do now stability which i don't need an influence uh maybe i'll hold off on this what is this a harbor a harbor a harbor my other harbor got destroyed because i was so smart i built a lighthouse on top of it i think i will build a harbor and then a copper mine So, it thinks I should build a harbor here or here. So if I build a harbor here, it's going to have, have one, two, three, four. What the hell, I'll build it here. It looks a little safer there. I don't know if that means anything. So I'm building a harbor. That's going to take one turn. This is a copper mine. Uh, it looks like the only place I can build it is here. Wait. I don't know what, I don't know what, if I need to build a copper mine on top of copper in order to get access to the copper. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So this is going to take me a couple of turns. Let's see what else do I want to build. Um, I think I will go ahead and build this theater thing. Okay, so I got my queue pretty well set up for the next couple of turns. I got my queue set up in Patrickville, and my queue's okay in West Dirt. Okay, so there we go. Uh, what else? I've looked at all my notifications. I've looked at all my cities. This says I have four idle armies. I want to find my lovely... Okay, so here's my... Uh, Long traveled and weary, um, what's this called? A cog. So he's down to health of 60. So this guy, I found him out in the middle of the ocean. Let me clear everything out. I found this cog out here. I was, I was floating around with my pentaconter, uh, and it's getting my pentaconter was, was, uh, 
getting ready to sink. He found a discovery. The discovery was this uh, uh, ship that could actually sail in the ocean. So I kept sailing uh, west, ran into uh, Atlantis or whatever this is here. I don't have any land units, so I couldn't drop anybody off and have them explore, which is what I really, really, really want to do. So I kept going west, uh, back, and thought I was going to circ circumnavigate the globe. Uh, it, because I, I had started... Whatever. So so it didn't... Because I... Uh, anyway. So then I kept... I didn't, didn't get the circumnavigation of the globe uh, achievement. So I kept going west, and uh, I... I've gone all the way past where the original Pentaconter was built, but apparently that doesn't count. So then I, I went, I kept trying to go up around uh, this area here, but the open seas cost you uh, 20 health per turn, so I can only go for five turns or four turns, depending on how you look at it. Um, so I got about out to here, realized I, oh, and then um, the Mayans decided not to let me. Uh, travel in their territory so I'm gonna come back down here I'll go through my territory go through this open ocean and then I've got a treaty with uh, the Achaemenids the Persians so that I can sail through their territory and then I'll sail down here I'll sail over here I head out west again or maybe I'll sail as far north as I can and then head directly or maybe uh, go northwest so I can land on this continent get in the coastal area and, and re repair, or at least not get any more damage. And then maybe come back around here uh, to my own territory. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, so what I want to do is uh, take my guy here uh, and head south. So I'm going to go... Oh, shoot. So I can't even... Boy, I, I tell you, the, the ocean travel in this game is really annoying. It, you basically, it says, hey, here's a big ocean. You can't go anywhere. Um, really, really, really super annoying. So I can't get down here. Good Lord. Okay, so I can't go down the west coast of my continent. I'm going to have to go down the east coast and come around here. Well, good. At least I learned that. So I don't know what the hell... Boom cost of four. I think I'll go here. Uh, yeah, so I'm playing the game partly to have fun. So it looks like it's going to add 20... Yeah, so I'm at 60 health. It's going to add 20 health because I'm inside my green territory. Good, 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 good. This guy... I'm just going to have him sit there. Even though it's costing me 5 per turn. Let's have him sit there. I'll have him sit there. It's costing me 3 per turn. Uh, this guy, I'll have him sit there. Not much going on. So now it lets me go to the next turn. So that was uh, 20 minutes. To get through the first turn, I was talking a lot, so I'm just going to pop through here real quick. So this new notification, I'm going to bet, is the Mayans asking me to convert convert my religion. Oh, Ad Aztecs. Okay. It is good to see you, friend. Truly. Friendly and needy. Well, well, well. Perhaps we can do business. What do they need? What do they need? So I've got a scientific agreement. Uh, I think that helps them a little bit more than me, but it does help me more than it helps uh, the Achaemenids or the Mayans. I've, I've looked at the customs unit, union text. I have no idea what that means. Cultural agreement. I get more influence on... Is that on them or me or what? This looks like it might be a good deal. I don't mind if they've got... If they get benefit from science and... Uh, culture i may end up regretting that later but i think i'm ahead of them so i don't need this i'm going to ask if they want it oh i'm going to go look at my rest of my notifications okay the mayans want me to Great sovereign i am at your service i like your attitude but i think you're shitting me buddy 
I'm going to refuse your demands. This? Things change. Demand withdrawn. Okay. Ooh. The people of Captain Hardship you will be convert to me, converted understand? to Celtic shamanism. I thought there were already Celtic shamanists. Oh, they're sh they're shipping over. They're shifting over to Harappan shamanism. Ah! Okay. Well, I have no idea what's really going on, so I'm going to ignore it. Cultural conversion. Okay. So. I guess the Mayan culture is more powerful than mine. I'm not sure why. Nothing I... I mean, there's nothing that I know I can do about it. Okay, the Achaemenids turned them... a change to the Mongols, and they're in the medieval area along with me. And the Harappans, blah, 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 are the uh, Huns who now call themselves... Let's get out of the screen here. Bup, bup, bup. Uh, Aztecs. So I'm the Khmer. They're the Aztecs. Uh, the Achaemenids are, are now the Mongols. And the Mayans are still the Mayans. So uh, I don't have any more notifications. Nothing's exciting going on. I'm not running out of... Okay, I've got five idle armies. One of which I'm guessing is my ship. I'm going to run my ship around here. And then I'm going to go to the other guys and just uh, put them to sleep. I'm, not, I'm definitely not overthinking this. Okay, so this turn took uh, two minutes. Okay, sphere of influence is based on influence. Okay. You click the pink button bottom left. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so it looks like I'm converting the uh, Aztecs to Khmer, Khmer, and I'm also converting this part of the Mongol Empire to Khmer. So these guys are going to... So I'm converting one, two, three, four territories. He's converting one. Um, so... Okay, my influence is uh, 1421. Okay, that's this number here. Hmm. Okay, so... I'm influencing them. Let's see what's going on here. So he's very close to the Mayan capital. So I've got 33 stars of influence for, for me. Yeah, okay. Okay, build in, influence producing buildings nearby. So I think, might be a little late for me, but uh, let's get out of the screen here. Influence producing buildings. Okay, I'm building that. So that's some help. And then uh, let's see what else produces influence. The uh, commons quarter. Okay, so I'll focus on building influence and uh, see what happens. Yeah, thanks, Captain Hardship. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's great you're going through this with uh, somebody else because... You know, some questions that take a hundred years for me to figure out. Someone, somebody already knows it. Okay, so here's my wonderful uh, Stonehenge. I will go ahead and go to the next turn. Yeah, the theater. Um, I guess if you have theaters like Broadway, that kind of converts other people. I like Hollywood, I guess. Oh, what the hell? What the, what the hell is this thing? Huh. 
Rebels from the Achaemenid Persians. That's interesting. Um, looks like they were fighting each other. So I don't see any button that allows me to buy them. I guess they're just running through my territory. I do have a open border agreement with the Achaemenids or now the Mongols, which I created so that I could get my ship, which is up here, uh, down around this continent. Let me zoom out. So I'm trying to get my ship, which is up near Captain Hardship, all the way down around here so that I can pop over to this uh, coast here, this new continent. Um, that's interesting that the Achaemenids are running around in my neighborhood. The Aztec forgave a, gre a grievance. It is good to see you, friend, truly. Wait, didn't we have a scientific agreement? Uh, maybe if you get out of my way, I could see what the hell I was doing. Boop. Okay, well, let me buzz through all of these uh, notifications. A new grievance available. Tell okay. me what is on your mind. The Aztec have declared war on the Mongols. I love that. Uh, people should fight each other. People who are not me should fight other people who are also not me. Okay. The Aztecs ended a treaty. I just saw that. The Maya now feel differently about you. They Great used to... sovereign. Tyrannical. Your service. Okay, I need to start creating units. I, I, this is pretty clear. They've given me like 10 turns saying, I'm going to attack you soon. Yeah, and they're going to win. Uh, it, it turns out from a strategic perspective, the war support is, is one of the big things because uh, now they can go in and if, they, if, they're, if they're even on the battles, our war support is going to decrease at the same rate that their does, that theirs does. Which means that after my war support goes to 64, he'll still have 36 war support and then he'll automatically win. So, because my war support is zero and his is not zero. So, Angles now feel differently about me. They're jealous. Well, you're at, you're at war with the, um, with the, I don't know who you're at war with, but you're at war with them. Can't have my maps. I'd be happy to trade with you. But. Okay, so have I looked at everything? Okay, so. Uh, this looks like a new. Okay, so I'm. These are the Mongols. I'm. I have a grievance with them because they're at war with the Aztecs. They have a grievance with me because they don't like my religion and I'm allied with their enemy. Their demands are something. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on. Get a lie with them, but that wouldn't work. Uh, I could trade with them, I guess. Let's see why not. I think we can okay. undertake a common venture. Do you agree? A proposal as fair as a summer's day. We accept. Okay, they want me to convert to Harappan shamanism. It looks like they're going to do that anyway. I would not inflict this proposal upon my people. I no longer need to inflict this on you. Yeah, stop inflicting. It, it sounds obscene. Uh, West dirt, so I gained a population. Know your place and don't forget it. Uh, so I went down, built, built a unit, and then it went up. Okay, so that's all of the notifications. I've handled all the notifications. My West dirt is back to nine out of a limit of twelve. I guess the limit is higher now because of the food quarter, farmer's quarter. 
Okay, right. So it went. It was at nine. It went down to eight. It went back up to nine. And now I'm going to build a warrior or a gestati. Gestati. Which I'm guessing is a Celtic thing. Wait, don't I don't I get a uh, Khmer unit? Where's my Khmer unit? So the Khmer don't have a unit? Wait, here they are. No? Interesting. Well, I'll look at the Khmer and see if they have a unit later. So here is food. Uh, I'll move the industry over to here, get some more food, and then I'll lose it when I build this guest die. So and then I will build Let's see, I want to build influence, right? No more influence. I could build money. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Theaters. Uh, sure. So they think I should build it here to get 17 stability and 2 influence. So I don't know long term if this is the best place to put a uh, district or if they're just saying right now this is the best place to put a district because it's possible that I'm cutting off putting a farmer's quarter here which or whatever I'll worry about everything later oh that's right I remember the Khmer the Khmer unit was those elephants with ballistas yeah they, they made a big deal out of that but I don't see them in my lists here maybe I don't have access to elephants Okay, so I got West Dirt taken care of. I've got my idle armies. This guy. I want to move him down to here. Everybody else, I just want them to sleep. So these guys are all just wasted money. I'm just too lazy to get rid of them now. Okay, this, this lets me in my turn, but I am going to see if I can find some way to build... Uh, war elephants. No war elephants. Oh, maybe I don't have the technology or something? Uh, anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's probably a tech, a tech that I need, or some sort of uh, civic that I need, or maybe I need more religion, or maybe I need to be left-handed or something, who knows. Who the hell knows? Uh, let me go in and uh, highlight today's plan, which I haven't highlighted yet. But uh, in this particular run, I'm I'm just I'm trying to go through and experience everything that the game has to offer. And um, here we go. Just take a look at my stone hands for a little bit. So the way I'm going to do that is if when I just when I try to decide cultures, I'm going to pick one that looks attractive, kind of randomly. The air stars, I'm just going to go until I get the minimum number of air stars. Battles, mostly I'm going to auto resolve. Tech, I'm just going to build whatever's cheapest. The civics, I'm going to try to stay in the middle because that's where the most stability is. Is that a good idea? It's a bad idea? I don't know, but it's a simple idea. And if I get a unique district, I'm going to build it. So. We'll see how that goes. And now I am going to go to the next turn. Did I do everything I needed to? I don't know. Okay, now I got more notifications. Ah, <sighs> okay, this is what the eighth or ninth turn in a row. Why would I accept this? Perhaps I was hasty. Consider my demands withdrawn. Okay, a new grievance for these guys. Well, they're oppressing my faithful. Well, I'm sure you have a good reason for it. Uh, let's see. What am I... Okay, I don't have any more notifications. I do want to move my troop, my uh, ship here. Ah, I can't get over. That's bad. So I think I'm going to move one turn <clears throat> and then stop it. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can get to... A coastal area. Wait, is this a coastal area? Oh, that's an ocean. 
Yeah, so then next turn I'll be able to get to the coast here in uh, the, what are they, the Mongols? In, in Mongol territory. Now I don't think that allows me to uh, restore my um, health, but if I end one turn in the ocean, I, th you know, I think it allows me to end one turn in the ocean without having a health hit. Let's find out if that's true or not. Okay. Uh, let's see, this guy... Oh, this is my new unit. So, where do I want him to go? I think I want him to go over... here, because that's where the mines are going to attack, so... This unit, want him to go here. And then, oh, this is not a harbor. Ah. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I'll uh, pop into the ocean, or the coast, go over here, pop out of the coast, and then just kind of hang around and look menacing. So there's that. Oh, he's got two more units. Can't do anything about that. Stand by. You know what? I think I'll start moving my guys over towards this part of the coast. Uh, just because that's... This guy. I want to move this guy. How do I move? Okay, there we go. I'll move him up here. And then this guy, I'll move him over to Patrickville. Yes. So that should be everybody. Oh, and I have a new notification. What's going on here? The Mongols discovered Takayana Forest. I'm going to assume this is Takayana Forest. Horse Ranch. So what does Takayana Forest do? Let me look at that now. Well, I'll worry about it later. So now I can end my turn. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with this, uh... Oh! Oof. I don't know. I don't know. According to this, it's right around here somewhere. If I go over here, and say, show me this. But maybe it's just focusing on uh, the. Uh, it may just be focusing on the uh, the Mongols. But here's their capital. It should focus on that. So where's the middle? The middle is like right up here somewhere. And this is the one one tile that's sparkling. It is a pretty cool looking tile. So I'm gonna just guess it's this, and they they haven't uh, discovered my continent, which is mine and uh, will always be mine. I, which I claim because I saw it first. Okay, this is bad. The Mayans are going to want to talk to me. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay, so West Dirt gained a population. Good for them. So now they're at 10 out of 12. Let me go back here. You know what? I probably could have just ignored their demand. And then maybe they only make the demand. You know what? I'm going to ignore it this time. And just see what happens. See what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm glad the uh, the Mongols can't hop around on my um, continent. I'm starting to think... That it would be nice if instead of renaming the empire to whatever the current culture is, you just called it like Joe's Empire or, or maybe 
I don't know. It'd be nice if, if each empire had the same name for the whole game. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I, armies and cities. Okay, so Captain Hardship. The problem with Captain Hardship is that he's going to convert. So let me start building influence. Let's see. Oh, uh, so I couldn't build this pentaconter before because I didn't have a harbor. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to build a theater right here for no particular reason. I mean, I, I need some uh, influence. Uh, and then I've got another. Okay, that's going to take me one turn. So what, I, what do I want to do next? So you do this parade. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, before you build units, game stability, military stability, food. Okay, so whatever. Uh, units. So I'm near the limit of my uh, population anyway. Probably wouldn't kill me to build a unit. Let's see. 25. This costs 32 to build. This costs 32 to build. 25 with 6. Or 26 with 4 movement. Uh, build another one of these guys. It's not going to kill me. And then I probably should... Okay, that should be enough for now. Patrickville needs to build this uh, beret. Didn't I build one down here? Okay, so I built this one in this territory and built this one in this territory. Those are, those territories are separated a little bit, so I could build another one in one of these other two territories. And if I build it here, I get 41. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm right next to uh, this outpost or administrative center. I'll build it there because the uh, the AI told me to. So far the AI or the uh, uni university user interface has never been wrong. Okay, so he's still at 100, that's good. Uh, let me see how far I can get down here. Yeah, so I don't want to end up in the ocean. Coastal water. Oh, I don't know. This is a fog of war thing. Okay, so let me go. I'll go there. So now I can see what's going on in my buddy's territory. Got a lot of smoking buildings here. Okay, so my ship is cool. Uh, let's see. Everybody else. Okay, so he's right here. I wanted to move him over to here. I'm on it. Okay, so if you're not in a harbor, it takes all of your movement points to get into the ocean. I think I've mentioned many, many times I used to have a harbor here, but I destroyed it by accident. This guy, I'm just going to have him stay there. This guy, I want him to come over here. Wait, oh, there's, whoa, who the hell is this guy? Oh, this is, uh, the culture that used to be the Huns and is now the, is now the Aztecs. I think I'll head over here. Uh, yeah, so I can come down if I want to. So do I have any more? I'm going to stay right here. We'll keep it on. You do. Uh, I think I'll head over. Whoa, I think I'll head over here. 
moving. He decided not to move. Why is he not moving? Over this way. I don't know. Come over here. Uh -huh. Got it. Follow me. Off we go. Right. Okay. I don't know why he didn't move. I'll figure that out later. Okay. So everybody's moved. Order your army to complete its movements. we go so that was another glitch there I'd already told it to stay there but it we didn't think that I had done that so I got plenty of influence I think I got plenty of money let me go through real quick uh, since I've been buzzing through the last couple turns and see if there's anything I can buy I can't afford to buy that I could buy this common quarter for 370 sure and now I have to decide what I want to build next Uh, let's see, 10 out of 12. I've got, I can't tell how many districts I've got in there. A harbor. I probably should build a harbor. Um, nah, you know what? Screw it. I don't need a harbor. I don't need a commons quarters. I probably should build a science thing just because I haven't done that too much. So they want they think I should put it out here. Fine. Probably not a good idea to do that, but I did it. So now I can finish up this commons quarter by spending half of my money. And then start working on this unit. Sure, let's do that. Okay. The, the purpose of money is to spend it. I think everyone agrees with that. So let me see what's going on in my empire. Let me go look at my unit. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go to my next turn here. Foreign outpost research. So I won foreign outpost. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that was because it gave me this quadrim. Okay, so this can go in deep water. The other one, the uh, Pentaconter, was a coastal ship. It said coastal ship. This says navigator. And I think my uh, cog is also a uh, navigator ship. This says I get an, an increase in cities. So I had uh, three out of four. Now I have uh, three out of five. So I can build more cities. That doesn't really help me. Okay, don't, not really sure what's going on there. A new wonder. I like that. I like you a lot. Let me see. So I can claim one of these two. Uh, actually, so here's my influence. 2055. And it sounds like... What the hell? Yeah, I still don't know how that works, but at some point, uh, oh yeah, I was just looking at that, uh, Cap, so he, it looks like he's been taken over because he's this nice uh, pumpkin orange colored, um, I don't know what the, what the upside or downside of that is, so the Maya have 70% and I've got 30%, it looks like the uh, Mongols have... 1%? So I'm producing 38 stars. I don't know if that means I'm producing 38 influence in the city. Okay, so if they want to, they can come in and say... Oh, I think I've seen that on the, uh, on the screen here. Great Sovereign. 
I am at your service. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly right. So the my uh, concern for Captain Hardship. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they've already got a war support of 100. They can declare war on me at any time, I think. They have tyrannical notions about me. They don't like anything that I've done. And their strength is overwhelming. So, uh, yeah. So, let me go back to here. Okay, so I'm making 38 stars, or 38 influence. Let me go in and see if I can figure out where that comes from. So I go down to here. Okay, so I'm, so, okay, so, uh, this city is creating 38 influence. Okay, it looks like I need to at least double that to try to take this city back, so... I should build things that give me influence. This two influence isn't going to help too much. Uh, science isn't going to help any. I built a unit. Public ceremonies aren't going to help. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing I can do here. Plus 12. Okay, so I can go to one of these two sites here. Hey, Haas uh, 00312. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen you. You were here uh, last time. Uh, good deal. Or, uh, no, you were watching one of my chess streams. I couldn't do my chess stream this morning because I was having some technical problems. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what was going on there, but uh, I was getting a bunch of dropped frames. I just decided to reboot everything. It still didn't work, so I just kicked it off. I forgot about it for a couple hours, and then the next time I fired up, I decided to do uh, Humankind. Um, I'm going to go here because I think this site here would be good for uh, food because it's near these two food quarters. Okay, so now I'm going to build uh, two more. Wait, where did it say how much? I yeah, I don't know. Okay, so... I'm trying to help my uh, problem with uh, the uh, cultural conversion of Captain Hardship. Um, so, uh, let's see. All right. So, here we go. There's a notice there. And there's a bunch of notices here. Let me go through here. Trade route blocked. So I was selling incense to the Aztec, and somebody blocked it. Well met. Well met indeed. Okay, I can live with that. Wow. So somebody's violencing around here. Captain Hardship converted to a new religion. Well... I've already had my doubts about Captain Hardship. Um, whoa. Okay, so this is religion. That's not... Okay, there's society. I, they're 30% uh, Celtic, and now they're 14% Kel uh, Celtic shamanism. Yikes. Uh, let's see. Fine. Your civil civilization benefits from its proximity to others. Osmosis event. Ooh, okay, 10% follower of your state religion in Titawan, which is called West Dirt. Um, I'm going to say I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Osmosis event. I'll check the... Uh, Check the encyclopedia after this is over. After this, after I click out of all these uh, um, notifications, Captain Hardship is a traitor, or Captain Hard, yeah, is Captain Hardship the city is a traitor, and Captain Hardship gained a population, had a baby. Good for Captain Hardship. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to here and look. What was I gonna look for? Osmosis. Osmosis. 
Maybe I should do ASMR. Osmosis. Yeah, those Aztec babies. Nice. Uh, let's see. O S M O. Okay. Some technologies are unlocked by accumulating silence. Other empires' technology become available for purchase with money if your territory is into their sphere of influence. Okay, so maybe that's what's going on. So maybe there's some way I can... The Aztec have a special... Okay, that must be where they're getting my silver. Or what is this? Copper. No, good for you. Um, yeah, so how do I, how do I buy the technology by osmosis or do I just get it? So I got Imperial power. And I'm working on, what am I working on? Bup, 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 bup. Um, siege tactics? I'm working on siege tactics. Apparently. Five turns? I don't even want that. Uh, so supposedly I was able to get, maybe, maybe the, the, uh, maybe the osmosis just gave me some science stuff. Who knows? Oh yeah, let me look for war elephants. Okay, let me look for, uh, come here. Nope, let me look for war elephants. Well, they could at least put a circle or something around this. Uh, okay, so... La, 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 la. Oh, siege? Siege? Siege, siege, siege? Okay, let me just look. Let's see if I see anything that looks like a war elephant. Ah! Military architecture. Widespread use of war elephants in the Khmer region hit its apogee with the development of the multiple crossbow elephant artillery. Excellent, excellent. It was flashing, yeah. Okay, so I am going to I'm going to un un whoa that didn't work. How do I unselect this guy? I do it that way. Okay, so now I'm going to go to this next. So I'm going to finish up Siege Tactics and then work on Military Architecture, which gives me elephants. I think there's going to be a war soon. Uh, I smell war in the air. Clouds are on the horizon. And I'm going to need some uh, war elephants. These are these have a, an attack of 42, so these might be able to just run through everything. Uh, I don't know since it's in the... What era is this? Three? I think that's the era that I'm in right now. Ancient, classical, medieval. Okay, so uh, thank you to Captain Hardship for letting me know that the uh, war elephants were down here under siege, trebuchet, and forts, and merged several cities. Uh, I suppose I should reiterate it this time that I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, let's keep going. Here's my city, which is building a theater, a Broadway district. It's gonna be done soon. And what I'm interested in is getting my ship over to, uh, probably here would be good. So is it smart enough to stop or end in the coastal regions? And the answer is it looks like it is. I'll let that guy go. 
this guy I'll just I'm just gonna sit everybody I don't even care anymore okay so I built a new uh, naked warrior I'll put him over here let's see what the Mayans have to say about that oh wait a sec uh, I think I should move him down here but I don't think from here he can get off the cliff Stay. Uh, stay. We'll stay here. Stay. Yes, I've moved all of my units. Okay, so civic backlashes. I don't even know what that means. Ah, here we go. Civic osmosis. Um. Customary laws. Legitimacy. Customary laws. Civic osmosis. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. So what? What is the legitimacy? Okay, civic osmosis. Legitimacy, customary laws. I need to replace or refuse. Oh, cod codified laws and enact customary laws. So let me go back to here. I kind of remember that. Codified laws, customary laws. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. So I picked codified laws. But the Mayans, who are culturally and religiously superior to me in almost every way, uh, use customary laws. So if I go to customary laws, I'm going to lose some stability, but I'm going to get more faith. Uh, if I refuse, if I refuse, who knows what's going to happen? I am going to lose some stability. Okay, so they're having me change stuff, or they want me to change stuff to get more ideologically prox proximate with them. If I don't, I will lose some stability because they, everybody in Captain Hardship is jumping around. Uh, they're all like half Mayans already. I'm going to do that. And that gives me a notification. So this is now customary laws. It, right here. Oh, wait. I'm back in the... Yeah, not sure what all this stuff means here. So I'm, I'm customary laws. I used to be codified laws. I changed them. Um, that's what the Mayans want me to do. I want to do what these guys want me to do because they're more powerful than I am. Um, there's a little number, a little exclamation point here, and they want me to do something. Liberate. Oh. Oh, I'm still doing Land Razor and Captain Hardship? Uh... Why don't I just undo that? There we go. I'm not sure what just happened, but... Uh, okay, that, that uh, exclamation point is still there. What does the exclamation point mean? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, unclaimed Wonders. Okay. So I was looking at Unclaimed Wonders, and I got distracted. Yeah, thanks, Captain Hardship. Um, oh, at this point, I was looking at this, and I said, well, what's going to happen to my influence in Captain in uh, Captain Hardship City if I spend it all on uh, wild uh, building projects? And, I, and so this 2055 doesn't have an impact on the cultural conversion of Captain Hardship because the cultural conversion of Captain Hardship is due to the cultural, the influence that Captain Hardship City itself generates, which was like 32 or something. Um, and I'm building a theater to increase that by two, so whoop de doo So when I spend all of this money, all of this uh, influence, I'm not going to in, I'm not going to change the cultural influence in Captain Hardship, I don't think. So do I want 
I think I do want to claim these. I'm having good luck. I built one, two, three. And the Mayans have built three as well. So let's see. Faith, stability, and it adds 20 turns to being converted to another religion. Okay, that could have been useful uh, 20 turns ago. Or I can go to Notre Dame and get faith per technology plus 20 faith plus stability plus stability. Twenty turns before being converted by another's religion. I think it's too late for that. I like this because my uh, faith per research technology is again. Let me pop over to here and hopefully I don't get confused. I've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, eight, twelve. Well, they're in groups of four. Um, Sixteen. 20. I've got 22 technologies, researched technologies. So when I go to Unclaimed Wonders, I will get 22 faith plus 20 faith plus 40 stability. I'm going to, I'm going to claim this. Do I claim this? 2000. Use up all of my influence to claim this. Okay. So now at some point I'm going to build it somewhere. I think I'll not build it on the Captain Hardship's Island just because that may be taken over first by the Maya. Okay, so my uh, exclamation point went away. My notifications went, aw went away. Uh, let me zoom in here. Super happy about this. Oh. Damn. Yeah, so I think I'm way behind on the military race. Real close cities help. So Yeah, I'll, I'll worry about the exact mechanics later. But but now I know that that mechanic is there. I think I played a game of Civilization once, uh, multiplayer against. Uh, my daughter and her boyfriend and I built a city civilization six I built a city down kind of on his continent just to kind of you know poke him a little bit and then you know 80 turns later that that uh, city went over to his side just because of uh, the cultural conversion mechanic or the loyalty mechanic in Civ six which I was didn't know about uh, but now I do uh, let's see so I'm I've got other things to do. Urgent affairs. So it's not a civic. What is a civic? Across the border, the war ravages the empire of the Aztecs. Thousands have abandoned their homes and are now seeking sanctuary in my peaceful lands. Well, they're peaceful for a reason. Refugees and agitators are amassing near the west, close to the city of West Dirt. Okay, so... That will keep me in the center. That will keep me on the edge there. And that will move me. Uh, that will lose me some stability. So let me check on my stability cost here real quick. Or my stability sitch. So I got 100. 100. Okay, so I can, I can spend stability. I don't really care that this would cost me stability. So I can lose money, which I've got some. I could lose money and get two people, or I could get two people. So Patrickville, let me take a quick look here, is 20 out of 29. So they can, they can afford to get two people in there. Uh, so don't want to overthink it. I think refuse is not good because I want the pe uh, people. Uh, the other question is, does it change my uh, stability? This changes my stability and gives me more food. 
Less stability and more food. And this just leaves it the way it is. Um, I think I'll pick less stability, more food, and two population. That sounds okay. Don't overthink it. Let's just do it. Okay, I got an era star for some reason. We're having 80 population. They gave me two pop. That put me over 80, apparently. So now I've got an era star. The next one... Oh, wait. 54. Uh -huh. I need 26 more population. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. I need one more territory. That's going to be tough. I'm almost to an aesthete star. Okay, so I need another uh, 700 st uh, influence. So I think I can do that. Okay, I'm close on the money, so I should get one of those. I'm close. Uh, uh, okay, so the science, I'm going to pick one more. That'll give me 18. And then I'm spending all my time researching more elephants instead of picking up some of the cheaper ones. But I got to do that. So that kind of slows down this star thing here. Um, I'm not going to destroy military units anytime soon, and... Wait. What was the pop one? Oh, this is, this is the pop one. Okay, so, um, more population. Need another 18 more populations. Uh... Let me take one last look at that real quick. Okay, I was looking at the last era somehow. Builder. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. So I will get another... In the next district I make, I will get 31 districts, and they'll give me 110 fame. Well, whoop de frickin' do I get 100 fame for... Eh, whatever. Okay, well, I don't need to know the cultures because I've got a long, long ways to go. I probably should go ahead and jump into the next turn. Except that... There we go. Oh, it wouldn't move him there because there was a cart on there that I didn't see. Okay, well, in turn... I am going to end my turn. Uh, not overthink this stuff. Whoa. Okay, so I've, I must have finished a... Uh, this must be my... Um, Builder Star. There we go. So I've got 32 districts. I need another 13 for another star. And where did I build that district? Probably here. I built a theater district, okay? So now, just for fun, I'm going to look at the... I'm going to look at the society influence. Yeah, so I've got 42 stars. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how that happens. Uh, I, I suppose I could go into the districts and add up all the influence from those. So I get 37 plus 5 from whatever the Kawajan is. Uh, but that's that 42 is still only 31% of the total that uh, Maya is, is uh, projecting. Okay, so that's interesting. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, oh, oh yeah, population on influence. Let me look at this and just say, where is the influence? 
Oh, here it is, 42 influence. That comes from district. Okay, so it doesn't look like population Im impacts this uh, 42 number. Uh, Kawa Ijin. I need to figure out what the hell that is. Uh, just for fun. Uh, Kawa Ijin. Oh, that's a natural wonder. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's that uh, volcano thing. That's this thing. Cool. Uh, so anyway, I've, I've got uh, two... Five influence from having that f volcano on my island. And it is my island, by the way. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is look through my uh, notifications on my uh, humankind iPhone... Your civilization benefits from its proximity to others. I think if I remember correctly, that's this thing here. Communal rights. Okay, so they want me to change to communal rights from, from whatever I've got right now, which is personal rights. Okay, so I was doing personal rights, which gave me... I don't know why I did that. I mean, uh, anyway, now I'm going to communal rights, which will. Okay. So what are communal rights? Religious ceremonies can bind communities together. Okay. So again, I lose stability for 10 turns. That's a killer. I'm assuming that I don't have 150 stability screwing around. I've got 90 plus 25. 115 plus another 25 is 140, 150. Why don't I get it? How come I'm right at 100? That's kind of suspicious. Uh, okay, so I will lose 50. It'll be interesting to see what happens just to do that for fun, but uh, as the leader of my people, it can't be fun. So I'm going to do this. And... Okay. For civic, I'm benefiting. I'm losing population which I think I was expecting. I've got 10 out of 10. So, um... Right, so... I don't need to get more food, so I can change my food, but I, that doesn't help because I can't move them anywhere. Uh, so I might as well build units, because otherwise that extra population doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I could build another... Oh, a quadream. Okay. I definitely want to build this. I'm going to build that. Here we go. That is not going to take too long, so I'm going to build something else. Science, money, stability, war. Plus five industry per copper. I've got a copper around here. Uh, I'll just do this. I don't even know what it is. Okay. Actually, I probably should build the district. Well, whatever. Don't, don't overthink this. Okay, now... Oh, I probably should start building Notre Dame. Where do I want to build Notre Dame? I think I want to build it kind of in the middle here. Ooh, I feel like building it right next to Stonehenge. That would be cool. Um, so I never did understand... The building placement on Wonders of the World, does it, does it matter? Oh, that would be cool. Tucked away in the mountains here. Um...
I kind of want it on a road for no particular reason. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, no, wait, uh, that's, that takes up two, two mountains. I think I'll put it out here in the middle of nowhere. Maybe put it right on the edge of this cliff here. There we go. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's going to take 11 turns, but at least people are working. So he's working on a research quarter. I'll have him work on this next. And he's going to build a quad ream. And then a forge. Okay, so. Oh, really? Primary source of influence is... Oh, sorry, I uh, missed that. I was too busy thinking about stuff. So here's Patrickville. He's got 40... Oh, sorry, that's still West Dirt. Here's Patrickville. 91. 71 from District and 20 from Territories. Okay, so I think I, I've got two Territories attached to Patrickville. So maybe it's 10 per Territory. But this says uh, districts. Yeah, that's true. Maybe the districts get their influence from population. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Population. Just says 24 out of 30. Let me look at this guy here. I can't look at him. This doesn't say anything about uh, influence. Um, district. If I wanted to, I could go into each one of the districts that I've got and see how much stability it builds, brings, or influence, sorry. So here's two. Two. 59. Okay, so, okay, here we go. 59. Okay, this says uh, 71 comes from district, but 59 of that comes from the uh, central city, the main plaza. Okay, there it is right there. You see on the bottom left, it says 48 influence from population. My population is 24. Yep, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to back solve and say that each pop gives two influence. Okay, so you definitely want to keep your stability over 90 because that cuts your uh, influence in half. Okay, so yeah, the UI of 91 said it came from districts. I thought it came from the farmer's quarters and the, the barre and all that stuff. But uh, if you look at this, of that, of that 91... 71 is from district of the 71 59 is from the um, main plaza of the 59 48 is from the population oh look uh, infrastructure so I get eight I get four influence from the pottery workshop and flow four influence from the theater so where's the, the pottery workshop Okay, so they're not letting me build it. The completed pottery workshop, there it is. Okay, so those things actually say that they do influence. Plus four influence, plus four influence. Okay, so of the other things, none of, none of the things that are left do influence. So I built all my influence stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's me telling Captain Hardship that population doesn't have jack squat to do with it, but it turns out that 48... Okay, of, of my population, what's my total population? Um, 36, 46, so 92, 46, yeah, 92, 92 of my 179 is from population. It says of that 179, 148 is from districts, but uh, 92 of that is from population. So that's half. Half of my influence is from population. And then I've got five influence from uh, owning a volcano. Kind of like a Bond villain. Yeah, that would really hurt uh, if, if my uh, stability got below 90%. I would lose 46 influence per turn. Okay, well, learn, live and learn. So I'm glad I didn't uh, 
you know, spend five hours on my original, you know, turn one thinking about stuff like this. I just like to play through and then learn this stuff as I go. Um, again, like I said, it's great to have people hanging around so that they can point things out for me. Uh, let's see. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to move my armies. Again, I think I'm just going to... Yes, command. Oh, here we go. So who's this? Okay, that's my uh, naked people. Eyes on the wall. Wait, I don't want to skip the turn for that guy. We're the wall. Keeping an eye out. Uh, let me go back to here. And this guy, I want him to go here. I'm on it. And then my ship... He's going to go there. So if I tell him to move, he's going to... Whoa, that's not what I said. Raise the mainsail. Raise the mainsail. Okay, so I'm still at 100 health. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Uh, I think sailing across this ocean here, once I get over here, is going to chunk up a lot of my health. And I don't think there's any way I can replenish it. So this might be a suicide mission, boys. I thank you for your service. Intern, here we go. Uh, okay, so notifications. The Mongols ended the treaty. Ooh. So they don't want to be a non-aggression pact anymore. Mm. These are the Mongols, right? It is good to no, see these are the friend, Aztecs. Truly. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to try this. Uh... Let's try that again. I think we can undertake a common venture. Ouch. Do you agree? Uh, no. So what? Ah, screw you. Uh, let's see. Here are the Mongols. They have... Vi are changed by non-aggression pact again so they're just sending signal after signal after signal after signal they're going to attack me um i'm going to break that part of the treaty you guys can go screw yourself curse you we end the treaty yeah curse Do you, you enjoy being unpleasant okay so uh you're going to have to declare war if you want to get into my territory. That sounds fine to me. Ba, 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 ba. Aztecs refused your treaty. That's not good. Urgent affairs and seven idle armies. Okay, so let's... So is this an ocean tile or a coastal tile? What? Sailing is uh, super annoying. I don't know if it's broken or what, but uh, yeah, let's go up here. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Clear the forest, ransack. Claim the territory. Wait. Uh, let's not do that. Ransack, what? there's nothing to ransack. Uh, plus, it's my own territory, so let's not do that. Wait. Oh, here's my uh, my ship. Okay. So I can't get a ship into this area right here because, well, maybe I can. Let's sail right to here and then see if I can slip in there next turn.
It hasn't been easy, but the refugees... Okay, I put them all in Patrickville. Been warmly welcomed by the populace. Shared cooking traditions, plots of land. Many say it's because of the Empire's worldly outlook. Wait. World, okay. Yeah, good, whatever. Uh, wait. So I get Prosperous, which does what? Oh, plus two, plus 20 money for five turns on three cities. So that's plus 60. So am I getting that now? So I'm either going to get 121. Oh, that says close. So they already gave that to me. So 60 of this is from the uh, refugees with their new foods and their newfangled dancing and shit. Whew. Okay, well, I think the, uh, the winds of war are coming. I'm thinking of uh, closing up shop for today. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a big war guy, so I have to psychologically get prepared for the war. I'm going to have to start building a lot more units. I've got three units over here, which I think is where the attack is going to come from. Um, I got to get, I'm, that whole new world thing, just, I can't get to it. I felt I did pretty good. Uh, finding that, uh, finding that continent, but I, I've spent the last 40 turns trying to get back, but I can't do it. So. What I'm going to do is uh, switch back to a picture of my Stonehenge, which I like, and then I'm going to end the stream. So I appreciate appreciate Captain Captain Hardship. Uh, you got your own city out of the deal, and I appreciate all your help. Uh, it's been a, kind of an eye-opening experience to, to see everything that's going on. Uh, so I'm going to maybe read the rule book or watch some YouTube videos, and uh, I appreciate your, your help, uh, Captain Hardship. Oh, uh, by the way, if you look at your, uh, if you look at the uh, stream chat, you see you've got a little diamond next to your name. I think yesterday I went in and turned you into a VIP. So, uh, congratulations. <laughs>